families. In today's Legal on 4, if you buy something at a store and then you later change your mind, you may not be able to return it. However, if you buy an item in your home or at a location that is not the seller's permanent place of business, you may have the option. It's important to know the various situations that you can use your right to cancel a sale for a full refund. Our Legal Affairs contributor Craig Wisnam joins us now. First of all, telling, tell us about the cooling off rule. Well, this is a rule from the Federal Trade Commission, mm -hmm. and they have a pretty good website, again, if you're looking for some follow-up to this on FTC.gov, but essentially, if you buy something in your home or at your workplace, essentially from some sort of form of door-to-door -door -door salesman or something like okay. that, and it's more than $25, you generally have this three-day right to cancel the contract. That's the magic number. And it's normally required that they provide you with notice of the fact that you're okay. allowed to cancel it and give you a form by which you need to cancel it and essentially if you decide it wasn't a good deal and you don't want to do it you need to send this back before those three days have passed. Now what about online? You said if you buy it at home or at the workplace, does that also cover things at home and on no, online? No, no not online. No. This is just, again, it's, it's designed to cover some of the more unusual situations where people might feel under a little bit more pressure and things to buy things. So it's kind of, as I said, the door-to-door -door salesman, okay. uh, party, you know, um, Tupperware parties, those mm -hmm. type things. Uh, but you say there are some exceptions. There are some exceptions, and there's some pretty big exceptions. Mm -hmm. In fact, they're probably bigger than the, uh, uh, the rule. Uh, motor vehicles, cars, mm -hmm. uh, unless you're dealing with someone that doesn't actually have a business. But for your normal auto dealer, that doesn't count. Real estate, insurance products, mm, securities. So essentially most of the bigger things in anybody's uh, investments are not going to be covered by these. And you say that uh, under Arizona law, you also have a three-day right to cancel services to be used in the future. Yes, these are things like gym memberships, discount clubs, uh, credit clubs, some of these things like that. And then there's a special exception for dance contracts, dancing uh, instruction contracts of 15 days. Really? Now these are all the laws and the rules. What's important to note that there may be other provisions in an actual contract or with a seller's policies. I mean, if a store says, you know, we'll accept a return, if an automotive dealer as part of the contract for buying a car gives you some sort of right in there, you have that right too. So it's always important to take into account what might be extra rights given under the contract. And would the right need to be spelled out or could it have been a verbal? Needs to be spelled out. Mm -hmm. Like everything, if you the easiest way to get out a lot of these deals is not to get into them in the first place. So never get into them saying, well, I, I heard Craig and I can get out of it in three days. If, it, you're better to steer clear and to think about it in the first place before you sign anything. And that website, FTC.gov. FTC.gov. And okay. Arizona's uh, Attorney General's website also has a great deal of information about consumer rights like this. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. We all